Have you been using this a lot lately? I have. But have you ever wondered how your remote control works? How does it control your TV from far away? It's got to do with light, which is a form of energy that travels in waves. And light has different wavelengths. That's the distance between the top of two waves. But we can only see a specific range of light called visible light, which falls in the middle of bigger wavelengths of energy and smaller wavelengths of energy that our eyes can't pick up. Just outside of that range are bigger wavelengths of light that our eyes can't see called infrared light or infrared energy. A lot of remote controls will emit infrared light using a small globe at the front of the remote. This will flash in different patterns depending on which button you press and it'll be picked up by a sensor on your TV. That's what allows you to control it. But if you don't believe me, there's something that you can do to see infrared light for yourself using a smartphone camera. Now you know that when you take the remote control, point it to yourself and press down, you're not going to be able to see anything. But check out what happens when I take it, point it to my front facing smartphone camera that I'm filming with at the moment and press down. Do you think we're going to see something different? Three, two, one. The camera is able to pick up bigger wavelengths of light than our eyes can. Let's try again just to be sure, but this time we're going to use my rear facing smartphone camera. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. What? Is it broken? No, it's not broken. Some cameras have a built in filter that stops infrared light. That way, the photos they take are as close as possible to what we see with our eyes. Even though we can't see infrared light with our eyes, we can detect some of it in the form of heat. And some creatures, like snakes, even have special receptors to sense infrared light in the form of heat. If you like this activity, why not try it at home with different types of remote controls and different types of cameras, like a webcam or a tablet, and post your results in the comments. If you want to learn about different types of waves, click on the attached link.